Hey y'all, so I'm going to do a talk over over on this one. We are going to start off with the seasonings with mustard, need that, chicken. I have chicken tenders and wings, some buttermilk, Cajun seasoning and seasoned salt, but you can use whatever you like, onion powder and garlic powder, white pepper, and of course hot sauce or cayenne pepper. All right, so you're going to start off by seasoning your chicken. Um, those are chicken gizzards in that bowl. We like those too. So um, just season to taste um, according to how your family likes theirs and uh, you won't go wrong. So however you would normally season your chicken, you want to do that here. I'm going to mention it later, but I also went back and ended up seasoning my flour, but I didn't start off doing that. You're gonna take one egg and mix that with about one cup of buttermilk. And this is just for egg wash. This part is completely optional. Again, I got this recipe from G Rich on YouTube. So you guys go check out his video and he talks you all the way through it, whereas I do pretty much like an overview. So that may be a little bit more helpful. So anyway, I'm just kind of mixing all the seasonings together on the chicken. And once we get this really uh, mixed together, I'm just going to show you how to um, dip. I mean, it's pretty simple. Flour, your egg wash, and then your flour again to basically dry it. And that's it. And we're just going to repeat that step. All right, so we are ready to fry. As you can see, my oil was extremely hot because I had it warming up while I was doing everything else so go ahead and start dropping your chicken and chicken and be very very careful And here I am just mixing up all of the seasonings on the chicken gizzards and excuse my clothes. <laughs> Y'all know how it is when you're cooking with flour. It just gets everywhere. So I was a mess, but I'm going to add some buttermilk directly to the gizzards this time and kind of let them soak, um, which is what I can do, what you can do too for chicken, but it's just another way of adding your buttermilk. Hey guys, I wanted to come back and let you know that with this particular coating um, and breading, you do want to kind of start your heat off on a medium to low heat to low high heat or medium going towards high heat. You do not want to start off with your um, heat too hot because I did that and these got a very, very, very deep golden brown, which is fine. But I was going for a little bit of a lighter color. So be very careful with that. Another thing I noticed was they did need a little bit more flavor, so I added some um, seasoned salt, garlic powder, and Cajun seasoning to the actual flour, okay? So my chicken strips and my gizzards will have some additional flour. Um, I mean, excuse me, we'll have some additional seasoning, but just keep that in mind from the beginning. Make sure your temperature is correct. See how these are coming up nice and slowly, nice and golden and crispy. This is how you want them to be, okay? You don't want them like cooking too quickly on the outside because of that mustard, which is what happened with me on my first batch. So be very, 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 very careful with that and of course you also be, if you're going to double dip and double season the or excuse me if you're going to double coat these you want to make sure it has that extra layer of seasoning so you want to season your flour as well which is what i've done already off camera but i just want to make sure you guys know the basics for if you try this recipe 
just don't make the mistakes I made and this will turn out delicious. Okay, on with the video.